this video is on exactly what the picture you're looking at says it is. It's frequency. And uh, there's your definition right there if you can kind of figure it out. Well, what's the difference between a high frequency wave and a low frequency wave? You can kind of think about it right now. You might already know. The objectives are explain what frequency is and create your own example. That's part of your assignment today. And use frequency and wavelength to solve for the speed or velocity of a wave. Our vocab is, we're not going to do period. Frequency, wavelength, lambda is a Greek letter, and velocity. So uh, this is page 11. And the formula is, first thing, frequency is a measure of how often, a la frequently, a wave passes by. Or more mathematically, just the number of waves each second. We'll skip this one. Your formula is the velocity of a wave. Actually, let me do this one first. So the most basic definition of frequency is waves per second. The units of frequency are hertz, and that's just named after some scientist, probably German, judging by his last name. So waves per second is hertz. Or you could look at it in something more cyclical, like a pendulum bobbing cycle. It could also be cycles per second. Is also hertz. Radio frequencies are in hertz on the radio. And our second formula is the velocity of a wave equals frequency times its wavelength. And it's written like this, velocity equals, there's frequency, it's kind of a little italics f times, and this is the symbol for wavelength, lambda, a Greek letter. It's actually got a little hook right there. All right, so try it. Floating in a pool when your big uncle does a cannonball, uh, you estimate 10 waves go by in 20 seconds. What is the estimated frequency? You should be able to do this. Let's look at your example your notes. It would be worth writing this example down in case you see something similar on the test you'll have in your notes to go off of. Feel free to pause the video at any time. Frequency equals waves per second. Uh, what is this? 10 waves in 20 seconds. 0 0.5 hertz. That's an H, 0 0.5 hertz. Let's make that better for you. Okay, next one, using this formula now. What is the wavelength of a 264 hertz sound wave when the speed of sound is 345 meters per second? So we'll take our numbers, we'll put it in. We've got 345 here equals, write these examples down, they'll be worth having equals frequency 264 and I see the Hertz symbol so that tells me frequency and the question is what is the wavelength question mark 364 5 345 equals 264 times wavelength divided by 264 and we get uh, tools. Three forty five divided by two sixty four, one point three hertz. So the answer is B. One point three hertz. 
Next example, example number two. Oh, I did that one twice. Student shakes the rope with a frequency of 1.5 hertz with a wavelength of 0 0.8 meters. Oh, I just made a mistake back here. Holy cow. What is the wavelength? So this should be 1.3 meters. Wavelength is listed in meters. What is the velocity? Question mark. Velocity equals frequency times wavelength. 1.5 times 0 0.5 equals 0.5 times 0 0.5 equals 0.25? No. 1.5. There we go times 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 0 0.75, and the units, this is velocity, so this is meters per second. Oops, ah, 0.8, so it would be uh, this one. Sorry for the bad setup, guys. 0 0.8 times 1.5. Let's double check that one just because this is all there is. 0 0.8 times 1.5. 1.2. Ah, bad math. Good thing I checked. So, uh, that's pretty much uh, this small lesson. An application of your formula on page 10. Follow these directions. Draw a set of ocean waves and provide the following information. Number of waves, times it takes for a wave to pass by one thing in the water, number of times it crashes on the shore, so this should be in parentheses. Time it takes by to pass one thing in the water, two, maybe pat two, and it could be passed by one thing in the water, it could be passing uh, by the shore, it could be bumping into a buoy out in the ocean, whatever. So this is one. Time is two. Distance between peaks is three. And velocity of waves is four. So you've got some problems and you draw one picture on the bottom half.